How's it going guys? Quick video edit here. Um, so today I'm going to be upgrading this. Well, can I, is it upgrade or is it downgrade? Put it into that. So here's my current system, I've got the Cooler Master Cosmos 2 um, with the modded um, glass uh, side panel as well. Um, so there's not many of these around. I've still got the original side panel as well that I modded with the uh, window on it. So I'm going to be selling this case because um, I'm going smaller. So I'm going to have to fit all of that into that. So that's an ultra tower because it's so huge and that's a mid tower so it's gonna be a pretty squeeze but I actually am gonna get rid of all the water cooling get rid of all that because I just want to keep it easier to upgrade for the future um, and just go air cooling but I've got that Corsair H150 over there which I'm going to be uh, throwing in there as well so um, yeah I'll just give you a quick look at this I mean it is a really nice looking case I still like it but it's big and it's very heavy as well whenever you want to move it around but it does look really really cool um, you know I've still got the SLI 980s in there SLI is dead which sucks um, T-Virus Res, throw back there, uh, you know, got the EK RGB block, got the Corsair RAM, got all that in there, and um, yeah, I'm going to be uh, swapping it all out, got the 360 rad right up there, you know, with the uh, 360 fans, and there's this big one, chunky 120, got the hard drives down here, um, you know, so that's all in there. HS1200 ISO, yeah, basically, it'll fit, I hope, anyway, because the new graphics card I'm getting is the RTX 3080 down here by Aorus Master version, so that's throwing it in there, so we'll see how we get on. Right, ripped out all the guts, motherboards out, hard drives out from here. It wasn't too dusty to be honest, I've worked with dustier builds. And then all that's left in here now is just the old water cooling which I'll sort out when I bothered. Oh, I need to take out the fans, that's another thing. And here are the bits. Now I'm actually getting rid of all one, two, three hard drives, because you can only fit two in the Spec Omega. And I'm keeping these two SSDs. This is an old 830, Samsung 830. Still going strong. But look at this hard drive here. 2010, still going. But uh, yeah, getting rid of these. And I'm putting them into this one. Keeping that. And then I've got the NVMEs on the uh, mobile. Taking off the tim. And going to bang on the new cooler. Right, I finally gutted everything from there. Took buddy long enough. Now I've got all my fans out, all my cables for the power supply. Um, some more there. I've started doing my cable combing. Um, and then yeah, now it's actually starting to build this thing, which probably will go a lot quicker than you know gutting all that because of all the water cooling, but. So if you guys are ever building in the Spec Omega, um, this is such a tight uh, corner to put your, um, your 8 pin PCI power, because my board actually got an 8 pin and a 4 pin on the Z390 Ultra, but look how close it is to that fan, it's actually hitting the frame of the fan, but thankfully it doesn't hit the blades. But there's just no room. There is literally, um, if I put the flash on here, there's just no room 
to root your, you know, your, your eight pin, your CPU power there, it's pretty stupid really. Um, so I had to really crab, squeeze it in, there's a little bit of flex to the board, but I've managed to just get it right, so here's hoping. Alright guys, so here's the full system built up in my uh, Spec Omega RGB. So this is what your system will look like if you do something similar to what I've done. Now, going from a Cosmos 2 to a Spec Omega is very, quite tough to do. Uh, because I've got so much stuff in there, I had to get rid of a lot of stuff. So I consolidated, I got rid of three hard drives, consolidated into one. And I had the HX1200i, which is a 220 mill uh, power supply which isn't really uh, of course I don't even recommend that kind of size power supply to go in here but I've managed to get it to fit with the hard drive cage and the radiator so it can be done but extremely extremely tight the problem you have is the cables that come out the back side of the uh, power supply will hit the hard drive case there's only about that much about probably about an inch you've got to play around with so you have to be really neat and tidy with the cable management there and especially at the back because getting that side panel on with all the extra cables is an absolute uh, fighting with a lion you have to try and get it to work so you have to be really careful with your cable management there. Um, uh, another thing there's if you want to do an underglow LED underneath the case which I do like to do on most of my systems it's quite difficult on this one because there's no if you've got the um, because there's normally a, in a case like you'll find a little area where you can just shove a LED wire through and there is one on this but the problem is it's the same uh, hole where you have the uh, power supply shroud uh, slot so what happened was is I managed to put a cable through there to get an LED, underglow LED and because I had to put that uh, power supply uh, shroud back on it actually sliced the, uh, the cable for the underglow LED so it, um, that didn't work so what I'm going to do is actually drill a little hole um, underneath so it just makes it easy to just do but uh, I need to buy a new LED strip first for that but other than that it looks quite good and quite pleased with how um, it looks when it's all finished um, but um, yeah it's, it is quite hard to work with in terms of like space so um, if you are going to go for a case like this I would probably recommend going for a smaller power supply if you are going to keep them hard drive cages because if you're not keeping the hard drive cages you've got loads of room um, and as you can see, I've managed to fit an RTX 3080 uh, Aorus Master in here, which is a huge graphics card, along with the radiator. There's only about a centimetre of gap, but I've managed to fit it. So if you can fit that, you can probably fit pretty much any graphics card. You've just got to be a bit careful um, that there is um, a bit of a constraint there with uh, the space. There's not much room. Now, bear in mind that um, this case is not the best for airflow. I'll tell you that right now. It does get quite hot, but simply because of the front front. Uh, window that you've got there and there's not much airflow going in there obviously because of that window it does look cool though don't get me wrong I absolutely love the look of this thing but it does get hot but um, after saying that it's not crashed or anything like that uh, so that's one thing to consider and uh, once you've and uh, oh yeah another thing that I kind of came across that was really difficult as you can see there the uh, Aorus motherboard at the very top where the fan is where the CPU power goes into the board was such a tight fit, uh, I don't even know how I got it in, uh, <laughs> to be honest. I had to squeeze it so hard to get the, the motherboard's um, screws in. I was being really careful not to obviously break anything and flex the motherboard too much, but it just got in and it was such a hard uh, positioning um, uh, you know, to squeeze that uh, cable in there, because you're trying to make it look nice as well, so you don't want the cable going you know, uh, all over the front of the system or anything like that. So that's something to bear in mind as well, that like you might struggle there. Obviously I've got braided cables which tend to be a bit chunkier than your standard, you know, black uh, single braided ones that you get with the power supply. But going for braided ones, you will have that issue. But anyway, um, I'm really happy with it overall. Um, it, it's it's been, a, been a bit of a nightmare to diagnose because to be honest, I had um, my RAM fail. I bought uh, another stick of uh, set of RAM to uh, so I can go from 16 gig to 32. I got the identical model, uh, identical uh, timing, everything. It was just the same one I bought last time. But I was getting weird blue screens and errors after playing games for such a such a thing. I was diagnosing all sorts. I thought it was the graphics card. Thought it was the motherboard. Eventually, it turned out that even though you get the same model of RAM, um, exactly the same timings, it might not always work because they weren't sold in a kit. So um, I ended up thinking, right, it must be the RAM. So I took the RAM back, uh, socked it for a quad channel kit, put it in there, 
been absolutely fine. So that's something to bear in mind if you are thinking you're getting instability issues um, and you are doing like a semi upgrade like I did, just bear in mind that ramp. But other than that, it looks absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm gonna throw up some benchmark scores and see what you think I did. A uh, overclock on this RTX 3080. I've got the uh, what did I get? I got 145 megahertz on the core and 1000 megahertz memory clock, and it made up some ridiculous port royal scores, uh, which is really good. Um, but uh, to be honest, it got quite loud though at the same time. So uh, for my everyday clock, I'm going to leave it at just like a 60 megahertz or something like that, bring it up to the uh, extreme version. Uh, speed and just leave it at that because I prefer to have the quietness. But anyway, I hope you like this video. Uh, you know, uh, if you subscribe, if you like to see more content like this, if you like the PC, let me know in the comments and any questions or anything like that, let me know. Cheers, guys.